Welcome to part 5 of the series. Now we're done with the three episodes. I covered that in the last last part of the uh, walkthrough guide series, etc. So now we're going to try and make our way to the boss of Central Production B. First, we're going to be checking, uh, saving our checkpoint. And I'll also be increasing our proficiency a bit. Designated work site. So let's save the checkpoint. Come back anytime. Using the shortcut right now. So this is where we want to go, we can ignore him. Going to this pipe. Grabbing this item here and then making our way down the stairs. So we don't want to do a plunging attack because that will just leave us open. So as soon as you drop down, do a dodge to the left or right. I'll also show you guys where to get the endurance ray. So there's a guy to our left here. You can see him hiding behind this wall. So we can like rush him by maybe a slide. Then we can fight this guy. It's okay to fight him, I guess. Just like wait for him to get out of his zone. Maybe allow him to use his tractor beam or magnet beam. 
Or not, or we can just like rotate. Okay. So what I did there was charge my drone by removing the lock on, pressing triangle, and then locking back on. That's also one of the advanced combat strategies in the game. So that's where the endurance array is located. A very useful implant. Again, I'm not sure which DLC has it, but to be safe, make sure you have all the free DLCs when going through the base game. So we don't really need to go to this area. It's one of the the loop arounds in the game make you lost. So we're going to ignore that. Instead, we're going straight through here. We're going to finish off this drone. There's a velocity array right here. So now we've got all three of the arrays. Velocity, Endurance, and Concussive. We're gonna be using all of those later on. So whatever you do, no matter how fast you are in reaching the area where Benjamin Berg supposedly is at, he will not show up. So next, moving on. This is the shortcut to this area here. I'll just show you what particular so shortcut it is. So if you She's recall, not when I call. this is another shortcut that we'll unlock later. I can hear them, so, Ops area. So this is the same shortcut. Oh, you blessing. just need to go left to access this area. I did see one guy. He, he was in a terrible state, but he seemed to know what he was doing. Heading to the executive forum. Maybe I should have gone like she suggested. This is where I want to go. Two scarabs. So we want to kill them one by one. Next car up remaining. And that's it for this area. Open this door here. We extend the bridges by accessing this console. And then we move the smelter by accessing this console. Smelter task reassignment confirmed. With the implemented overtime hours, then my guys have been relying this healing on the implants, here if you need it. I'm noticing increasingly erratic behavior from them. This schedule was meant to be temporary, but it's been months now with no sign of respite. Now, I don't blame my team for using, but the side effects are becoming increasingly apparent. There's even been fights. And, you know, some people are just acting downright weird. But we're going to have big oh, we're taking the elevator down here. Done, and I, I won't be held responsible. Now keep in mind, there are three enemies that we should be worried about. So we're gonna deal with the smelter first at the part this part of the stage. So 
just rotate slowly. Waiting for the flaps to open. Now with the first smelter, we've got one shining coin giving us two shining coins. Next, second smelter. Rather, we deal with the robot first. We lure him here so that the smelter won't interrupt the fight. But of course, he won't go all the way. So with that in mind, we can deal with him here. Actually, it's a lot easier to deal with the smelter first. So just ignore. So we're just gonna ignore the arc bot. Okay, that went well. Now we're just gonna kill the arc bot now. Rotate the arc bot until he does one of his attacks. So now we have three shining coins. Just charging the drones. I'm gonna use this drone over here to lure this guy out of his hiding spot. Then we're gonna deal with this guy. Rotate, rotate, rotate. But just to be safe, I kind of advise first timers to ignore this guy. Because he can be very difficult if you're not used to him. I'm gonna show you guys the second shortcut, or the third shortcut, rather. So lure the hammer dude to charge here. Using the laser to do more damage so that we can cut the part. This is the third shortcut, which is basically between the second shortcut and the first short shortcut. See? Remember this area? Now I'll show you guys where to get the first reclamation buddy. See that implant over there, or the loot pyramid? We're gonna make our way to where that is. Just scanning the area. We drop off at this point, like so. And Reclamation Buddy version 1 is available to you. Now you can use this to either farm if like you need more tech scrap to reach the next level. With this, it doesn't really cost that much core power. It's like, yeah, only 2 core power uh, consumption. And it basically increases tech scrap gain by 10%. So it has the same effect as um, when you do perform an execution blow to an enemy. That's the same effect. 
So you don't really need it, but it's also kind of good to have. So now we're going back. I'll show you guys where to find the Bloodhound. It's just to the left here. If you guys are into heavy duty, Bloodhound's very, very good for that. Like, as a, as a heavy duty weapon, Bloodhound is pretty good. So now we're making the, our way down here. Now there is a enemy behind those boxes and there's another enemy to the right and there's a hammer dude all the way on that side on top of the railings. So we'll deal with the guy trying to ambush us here first. Next we'll deal with this guy. Finally, we'll deal with the we'll deal with the hammer dude. Now, so far we have faced the lynx dudes and the rhino dudes. These dudes drop MK1 armor and weapon materials. Okay. We've also faced the scarab dudes. We're not counting the DLC here. We're counting just the base game. So the scarab dudes drop mark, mark two armor materials and weapon materials there's another dude in the same area that drops mark two and we're gonna be facing them real soon and we have to farm their set because that is the second set that we need to make the game a lot easier for us we can in theory finish the game with the link set but we're going for like progression here so the first armor set that will help us to this area will be the links second armor set that will help us in the next area all until i mean all throughout the game even you can finish the game with the second set but we're gonna make it even easier by showing you a third and more powerful set later on so that's the, the armor progression so we don't need to get through each and every armor piece there is we just need the first one to be links the second one to be the liquidator set, which we will we will be um, farming right now. And the third will be another set that I will show you later on in the game. If we ever reach that. Like, I, I don't even know if I'm going to reach that. I might get bored of doing this fucking walkthrough. So here he is. Actually, we're going to deal with Joe first. So Joe is an NPC that a lot of people miss because she is inside this pipe over here so we have to go close to the pipe to interact with her her quest involves giving her a bunch of tech scrap every time you see her so maybe i'll show you exactly what happens when you give her the tech scrap so we're just gonna give her the 5000 tech scrap Tech scrap is easy to farm anyway because we have the DLCs. So we gave her the tech scrap. We'll be seeing a lot of her later on. So these are the liquidators. We can start off with the head, the arm, because he doesn't have the body. So I guess we'll start off with the head. So now we got the head schematic next he has the body so we'll go for the body like i said you can use the laser to help you in dealing damage so now we got the body and the head no problem see these are the poison puddles with that set you can walk through poison puddles without getting damaged. That's the second location for the concussive module if you haven't gotten it yet. So now this guy has arms and legs. Let's go for the leg. So I made the blunder. I was supposed to get the cut. But since I was low in health, I decided to get the energy too. 
Unlicensed can, can gambling violates federal and state law, and thus places Creo at a not insignificant risk of criminal charges and liability. So, all raging drone events are to be cancelled immediately. Borrowed drones and other company equipment can be returned to the Get the leg real quick, and we eat. The bad guy here. I love a good drone fight, fight this as robot much as right now. Guy, but what we're doing here is too important to risk in fractions. We give Joe nature. tech scrap, so we need. We basically need to get more tech scrap. Now we just need the arms. So that's the one of the shortcuts later on. So that's one of the scarabs. Yep, we're gonna fight this guy. Oh yeah, there was an audio log here somewhere. I think I passed out from the pain. Don't know how long I've been lying there, cold on the concrete floor, half dead, awakening to a nightmare. I couldn't remember where I was. So you can farm scarabs here as well. But when I saw those people, what happened to them? Somehow I made it to ops, and the memories are blurry and hazy. I remember the pain. I've so afraid of my whole life. I didn't even realize I was totally blind in my left eye until Medbay patched me up. I guess I'm better now. Even my sight is coming back. Now we can lure this dude here. other place to f to get the reinforced pipe if you haven't gotten it already. D, will you check in? I waited 30 minutes for you yesterday. That's far too long for me. This to is another security door that we can't open items. yet. But if you can't procure them, I have other sources, so don't worry. Just let me know you're okay. So now we need the arm. Now we have the entire um, schematics for the liquidator set. You can view your schematics by going to inventory tabs, to the inventory tab and checking if you've got all of them. So we've got the arm, the body, the head, and the leg. So that's all we need actually. So I'm going to be showing you guys the shortcut. This is the shortcut right here. Before we head down over there, we're gonna use the shortcut. And we're gonna craft the armor pieces and see if we can upgrade it to Mark II. It would be really helpful if you could. And then we're gonna fight the boss with the MG Negotiator because MG Negotiator does more damage. risky to continue fighting him so we're not going to hello so 
now let's see if, it, if we can craft the entire liquidator set. Now we have the entire liquidator set, just equipping one, equips the whole set, and it's also one of the sets that I actually I actually like in terms of appearance. Now let's see if we can upgrade it. Thankfully we can. Let's see if there are any implants we can destroy. So we're destroying this. We don't need it now. all we need to take on the boss okay we're ready to fight the boss Farming some armor pieces for when we need to craft the Asclepius. But first, I think I should show, uh, show you where to find the blue cables. Taking this exolift will allow you to get the second set or the second blue cable implant in the game. You can combine it with the first one to give you 20% reduction of having to do um, execution blows or the, it reduces the cost of the medivoltic injection. We're walking on acid or toxic puddles and we're not taking damage. So this power hungry. circuit overcharge um, will unlock the team. door that was like, that we passed. I've marked the way to the outbound station. We can open this now. There's big red letters saying exit. Even you can't miss it. There's a scarab <laughs> enemy here with claws. Wait, he's a rhino, not scarab. There's, I think, an implant located below here. Yeah, 
Vital Boost version 1. So now we're ready to fight the boss. She's going all the way back. Also keep in mind the boss does fire damage and this set bonus is uh, wearing a full set of liquidator gear grants bonus additional elemental resistance. That's why our defense is in the green because our elemental defense is increased by a whole lot. So the overall defense is really high for a uh, light armor. So quick um, explanation about the three armor types. We got Operator class, Goliath class, and right now we only have two classes. The other class is the Sentinel class. So Operator class is basically your average light armor. Sentinel class is in the middle, but for some reason it has higher defense than the Goliath class. And the Heavy class is the Goliath class with, very, uh, with high stability, um, making you kind of uh, giving you hyper armor through some attacks so if you're into heavy duty um, weapons you can use that goliath class is also good to use for um, the dual claw type weapons because it gives more impact which the dual claw uh, weapon type desperately needs yeah those are the three armor types in the game the Liquidator set is a unique type of armor that even though it's an Operator class, it doesn't increase attack speed but instead increases impact, which is good considering our weapon, MG Ignis, generally has low impact. So it boosts the impact and makes it into and makes it medium, which is very good. But we're going to be fighting the boss with the MG Negotiator because it has more damage. So we'll, to fight this boss, we're gonna want to lure him and then do a slight attack. And we're gonna do that again and again until he, yeah, he does that. And then attacking the limb once more breaks it, cuts it off from the rest of the body. So now we're gonna repeat the strategy, lure the arm, trying our best to not be greedy. Until it falls off, and then break the uh, the limb by repeatedly smashing it. You can use the laser to support the damage, or you can use a passive drone to do the same thing. After you break enough limbs, it will collapse and doing a no damage um, hit towards Warren. So yeah, you didn't get damage, but it does look like it, you took damage there. Okay, we don't want to be here. This is like the worst place to be in. But he's spinning. Now we want to lure him to do something. Like that. So this is an advanced strategy to like do a lot of damage at a short amount of time. But keep in mind that if you want to go for the hardcore kill, you're gonna want to break each and every arm, so it's not advisable to do that. I just wanted to try it out in, in this run. So I'm not sure if we're gonna get the hardcore kill here. I'm just gonna wait for him to... his uh, arm to spin. Like that.
Yeah, we're gonna end up killing him without getting the hardcore kill. So in order to get the hardcore kill here, we want to break the arms, all the arms before killing the, the boss. So I think we have one arm left. So we won't be able to get the hardcore kill. Unless the arm magically breaks on our last hit. Oh, we might we managed to do it. We got the arm broken. So yeah, so we managed to get the the second version of the firebug which does this move. So it's very unique and looks cool but it's actually a crappy weapon for me it, it, the damage is actually not worth it so we're not gonna use that so we're done with the boss i think i'll call it like after reaching the resolve biolabs Fall down here to get the scrap pile. You can unlock one of the shortcuts here. And this is where you want to go to progress to the next area. This vent right here. Before we go further, we finally found a thief. Do you guys remember the the bitch that was standing by the stairs? You can give her this task: a Seru H double S Biomaster. So we're gonna head on over to where she is and give her this staff. Okay, I'm sorry, but I just can't wait any longer. I hope you're okay, that you're still out there. That you found a safe place. I'm going to take the maglev to the old bio labs now. I'm just showing you guys that Ben Burke is here. here. You can. We're here going? at the station. There is no sign of Ben Burke. He's still talking, but you can't see him anywhere. Okay. It's sad, but we have no idea whatever happened to Ben Burke. Maybe he'll appear in the, the last DLC if they plan on giving us an, another one before the sequel releases. But that's kind of iffy. So now we're on our way to where Irina is. If you move to the next area without giving her her staff, she you failed her quest. So it's important you give her the staff before moving on. Also, I think after completing this area, the, you're going to be given the fourth episode for Frontier Riders, the good and the bad and the augmented DLC. So we'll probably tackle that before um, completing the Resolve Biolabs area. Do you require assistance, Warren? So this is a shortcut to reach Arena. I didn't rest because I'm going to have to go all the way back and I don't want to deal with any of the enemies. I'm 
might end up dying anyway. I pushed him off. So we use the jumping attack to negate full damage because I fucked up that jump. Hey, shouldn't you? So we're gonna give her the usually sync HSS by a by a master. All right then. Efficient against. I owe you. It's nice to know. Better get going. And just as I. So now you give her the staff. She's wielding it. Now you can move on to the next area. Yeah, I'll prob probably call it after reaching the next area. Or I might reach the next area and do the fourth episode of the DLC, then call it. So yeah, in this game there is no homeward bone or an item that teleports you to the central hub. So you're going to have to do a better job of remembering where you need and have to go. That is where we want to go after completing the result biolab. So take note of that gigantic shutter gate slash door, whatever. Next stop, result biolabs. Blue Sky Station. We've reached Resolve Biolabs, the third area in the game. Warning, that will introduce us to zone. a whole Please set of new enemies to get pissed at. Of danger have been eliminated. I'm freaking out here, Doc. Security is everywhere, but there's no. Save the checkpoint and Change in the workers, back the text crap chaos. here. If anything, it's getting worse. I'm gonna try and make a break for one of the loading bays. Hopefully I can get out. So this now, is where you find the DLC door testing chamber access lift. Now we'll check if the fourth episode was unlocked. And it has been unlocked. Symbiotic freeloading. So guess we can like use a combo maker. I know. I'm trying to remember if this was easy or difficult. Let's try all four modifiers first. Just for fun. Barrel chamber assembly initiated. Oh, I forgot. Medieval take is useless. So remember how we need to switch our implants every time we get to a Yeah, okay. 
That looks good. Or, this one's better. Okay, now we're ready. On second thought, let's do this first. Ah, yes! Spontaneous human combustion! Yeah, let's do this first. Barrel chamber assembly initiated. So Combo Breaker is kind of a difficult modifier in that you need to perform the combos properly. If you're familiar with Rhythm Games, it's kind of like that. You have to time the R1 so that it's the right timing. It has the wrong timing. The right timing is like this. See? Or you can just do this. This one doesn't you know, count for timing. So that's probably what we're going to spam. The slide attack. So it doesn't rely on particular timing. Also, if we do it with the negotiator, we can have an easier time with this area. forgot about the timing so we're gonna do the slide attack Aww. still take a bit longer than usual because slight attack doesn't actually do much damage if you don't do the combo properly okay. thankfully we were able to do, com to do the combo so we can move on also, since we unlocked the shortcut, I mean, we finished that episode that had this um, room, we can use the shortcut. So, interact with the switch, with the switch to um, turn the lights, or turn the sun off, so to speak. Okay, this is not good. So, yeah. That was more difficult than it should be. I guess we're not doing the combo. I call it symbiotic preloading. Careful now. I call it symbiotic preloading. Barrel chamber assembly initiated.
now it will be a bit quicker because we won't be relying on the combo maker or combo master. That's all she wrote. Warren had a reputation for taking the way of least resistance. Feeling neither shame nor remorse, the cowboy cut corners. Again. All the accumulated damage that we've earned is pretty much negated when he hit once. Thank goodness. that so this is the pressure plate room So we're waiting for him to charge us. If he doesn't, then at least we have the door unlocked. Or the gate unlocked. Or the gate open. I thought I could break that. 
important thing is we have done it. He ran. Ah, uh, we're on our way to the end of the episode. See the difference when you've unlocked the shortcuts? Really easy. with the fourth episode. So down with the stream for now. Let's equip the implants that we need to traverse the area. It's basically just the medieval take or this. You can use both actually. We have enough core power if I'm not mistaken. We have enough core power. So now we've got this and this. Very useful. We can also opt to change. I don't know. This should be enough to be honest. 44 health. And with that, we're done with this. Part 5. Part 6 will involve getting through Resolve Biolabs, hopefully, and maybe the third boss at the end. Okay, I'm signing off. Bye.